Hey everyone, welcome back once again. This is an order I placed with Candles by Victoria on January 1st. She had a New Year sale. It was 15% off. I've been like wanting to place an order. I placed two orders in the past for just scent shots and I got like mostly bakery scents because I was on like a bakery kick for a little bit. Like I thought I liked bakery scents but then I found out I really kind of didn't. And so I kind of wasn't impressed by the scents that I got because I did a lot of researching because there's like a group and a message board and I researched all the bakery scents and I got some that were like really popular and I didn't really like them. But then I figured out from ordering from multiple vendors that I like fruity scents recently. So I looked at Victoria's scent list and just focused on the more like fruity kind of scents and decided to place an order plus there I wanted to venture out in some of her, to some of her candles because they are gorgeous and I wanted to own them basically I just like had to see them in real life because I hate like seeing things on a website and not knowing what it looks like in person because you just want to like see what it looks like and smell everything for yourself so I got a bunch of scent shots and then the three candles that you can see right there so let me just get into it. She sends a free scent shot with every order. I got country coffee cake. And this smells like really delicious coffee cake. There's not really a coffee scent to it, just a coffee cake scent. And then onto the ones that I ordered. This is raspberry zinger, because I've been on a raspberry kick like crazy lately. And this is just their raspberry and lime. And I really, really like this one. It, it like has some kind of carbonation to it. I don't know. It just it smells really, really good. It's a really good mixture. This is raspberry guava. And you get more raspberry. I only like, I really just pick up on the raspberry. This is Life is a Beach. And this one is blackberry, strawberry, and pomegranate with mandarin, grapefruit, and lime with a base note of fizz. And you do get that fizz, and you just get a bunch of fruity notes. You can't really pick one out because they just all blend together. But um, it's kind of just like a citrusy berry scent. It's really, really good. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this one, but I really, really do. This one is starfruit and mango, which is just starfruit and mangoes rounded out with notes of strawberry and peach. And I definitely get the mango. I don't know what a star fruit is. I really have no idea. But like I like the sound of the name, so I just thought I'd give it a go. And I really like mango scents, so yeah. This is Pink Noel. And this is Pink Cupcake, which is just their cupcake scent. And Vanilla Bean Noel. The pink cupcake name confuses me because you'd think there'd be pink sugar in it, which I don't really like pink sugar. So... Thank God I like read the scent description and saw there's no pink sugar in any of their in their pink cupcake. I get the cupcake and I get the vanilla. I don't know if I can like tell that it's vanilla bean Noel. Maybe when I melt it, it'll be more um, prominent. But I just smell like a creamy cupcake. This is Pink Sands, and this is supposed to be a dupe of Yankees Pink Sands, obviously, and it is spot on. It's amazing. I like melting Pink Sands in the bathroom because, it, I don't know, I just think it's a perfect bathroom scent. This is Wildberry Scone, and I think this is my favorite of the whole order, which is funny because I said I don't really like bakery scents that much, but it's a good, like... There's so many vendors that have wildberry scone, and this smells nothing like those. Like, every vendor I have tried that has a wildberry scone, they all smell the same. This one is different, and it is so good. I am contemplating getting some scoop some scents in this scent because it's amazing. It's, like, so good. The scent description is freshly baked English scones with hints of strawberry, coconut, raspberry, and blackberries. This is amazing. This is so good. Like, definitely try this out. If you don't like other Wildberry scones, you may like this one because it's really good. This is Watermelon Cupcake, and this is, I believe, a creative scent of Tiffany D and Pink Cupcake. 
which is pink cupcake, I said, is um, just their cupcake scent. And then Tiffany D is watermelon, honeydew melon, cotton candy, and vanilla. And that's a, this is a really, really good fruity scent. You get the watermelon and the honeydew melon, like, for sure. It's a really good scent. The next one is Butterfly Kisses. And I'm not sure why I got this one. It's cantaloupe, um, kiwi with floral notes of lilac and honeysuckle. And I don't really like floral notes. So maybe I thought the fruity notes would, like, overpower it. I just get a sweet floral. You mostly pick up on the floral, but it's, like, really sweet. So I'm guessing that's the fruit. I'm not really a fan of that one. The next one is a bakery scent because everyone raves about this one. And I know, like, during fall on their Facebook group, everyone saying this is the best fall scent. Curiosity got the best of me and decided to try it. Pumpkin Apple Cinnamon Bread. It's just sweet, creamy pumpkin, rich cinnamon apple with a crunchy strudel base note. And it really, it really is a good fall scent. I don't know why I got it since it's not fall anymore, but I just wanted to smell it. People talk about so many of the, so much of their scents, and you just, you want to smell them for yourself. <laughs> you definitely get a, um, a creamy pumpkin and a cinnamon note to it with a little bit of apple. And then the last scent shot is Honey Vanilla Love Dust. And this is raw honey, cocoa butter, and chocolate. And yeah, I definitely just get like a light chocolate scent to this. Okay, on to the pretty things. So I got a Turin candle, which they are 22 ounces and they're $18.50. And you can choose if you want glitter on it, which the glitter isn't picking up on the camera as like well as it should. But it's Halo Fuchsia. That's the the glitter color that I chose and the scent I cr you can create a scent in these if you want like you can mix two scents together and I chose kiwi raspberry and vanilla bean noel and I called it kiwi raspberry Van a noel because I have um no imagination really <laughs> and I probably should have gotten this scent like kiwi raspberry in a scent shot first to see if I liked it because I don't really like it I kind of get like a wine scent to it like a fruit fruity wine I don't get the vanilla bean noel at all but I mean I'm gonna burn it and see how it goes next up is this is from the bake shop line and it's blackberry cobbler delight they're 18 ounces all the bake shop candles and they're $22.50 and it's two-tone I think this I believe this is granny pie crust on the bottom and then this is the blackberry cobbler and then look how cute that is on top it has the wicks right there. I don't even know how I'm going to burn this. And I'm sure it's going to be messy when you do burn it. So I probably have to put like a plate under it. But those blackberries are so realistic looking. And it just smells like a tart blackberry. Like a legit blackberry. And then what I was most excited about. This is a coffee cup cutie. And they're 18 ounces, and they're 19.50. And this one is in Captain Crunchberries. And I love Crunchberries. I remember when I was a little kid, I used to just buy the um, the cereal that was just just the Crunchberries. Like it was like I forgot what it was called, but it was just had the Crunchberries, and I loved that because I didn't really like the other part of it, just the berry part. And it came like with this broken off. Which, I mean, it's fine. It still looks good on there. And this smells exactly like crunch berries. So that is my Candles by Victoria order. I want to place another one. I definitely want to get some Scoop Some Scent in Wildberry Scone. And I want more Captain Crunchberry stuff. And I want to like create my own scents more. I don't know. I need to kind of put myself on a like a wax band kind of thing because I am going crazy lately but it's hard and I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm going to do a wax collection video I just have to organize everything because I'm just so messy and I have like I'm not it's not that bad I have storage containers of everything's in but I have orders that I haven't done videos of yet and everything is just like sitting on the table waiting for me to do it 
and I put it on the table so it looks messy to me, which is supposed to be a motivator to film videos, but then it ends up just sitting there and I get lazy, but I don't know. I'm feeling sick. I don't know if you can tell in my voice, but my throat is like killing me, so we'll see how many videos I get done. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked this haul, and comment, like, and subscribe if you'd like, and have a good day. Bye.